Yeah. You guys want to see my tits? My absolutely perfect and gorgeous wife, Tina. I know I haven't said this in seven years. I love you. Welcome to another Your Mom's House Live. We're so excited that you could join us. You're like a combination right now of the three people I jerk off to the most of my life. Dolly Parton, Julia Roberts from Pretty Woman, and Takashi Six Nine. <laughs> I hear Tim calls you a big titted animal. That's Theo Vaughn if he never got on Rogan. <laughs> this is one of the craziest things that I think I've ever seen. No. Oh my god. No. Wow. wow. It's one of those times where I, I truly am speechless. And you're I just like, like to Ooh. see dicks. I mean, like, would you, if somebody showed you outlines of boobs, don't you just like any boobs? It I guess matter. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But I, I thought you would want like, like a fucking hog in one, you know? Of course, that's what I'm looking for. I'm hog hunting. Maybe I'll. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to your mom's house. This episode is brought to you by Watch Gang. I love that Watch Gang gives you the op option to choose types of watches that fit your style. So like some people like classic, you know, leather strap. I guess what my dad goes for. I've always preferred stainless steel or sporty like the rubber bands. You pick what works for you and then they give you different styles, watches that look cool, different colors, everything that like feels like it can go with anything, you know? So like I have a watch that I, if I'm wearing a black, this is a, a silver watch, or if I'm wearing something, a different color, they give you the options. So you feel like you have like an eclectic mix of different watches. Watch Gang is the world's largest watch club and is revolutionizing the way we buy and discover watches. Watch Gang allows casual watch enthusiasts and the watch obsessed alike to build your watch collection. Go to watchgang.com slash YMH and get started now. Use code YMH for 20% off your first purchase. That's watchgang.com slash YMH. The code is YMH for 20% off. Gene, you've got to try mud water. Mm. It's a great alternative to coffee. Uh, it has four adaptogenic mushrooms with Ooh. ayurvedic herbs oh my goodness i know that sounds really advanced it really is with one seventh the caffeine as a cup of coffee you get energy without the anxiety jitters or the crash of coffee you know i'm i drink so much stuff throughout the day just to keep me going and i started drinking mud water because it's just kind of a nice ride like you said you don't get too crashy and also i don't like the acidity of coffee and this bypasses all of that each ingredient was added for a purpose. Cacao and chai for mood and a microdose of caffeine. Lion's mane for alertness. Cordyceps to help support physical performance. Chaga and reishi to support your immune system. Turmeric, turmeric, turmeric for soreness. And cinnamon for antioxidants. And listen, if you, I don't know what all that stuff is. I'll tell you, it tastes great. Tastes right. I feel great when I drink mud water and that's what matters. Mud is 100% USDA organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, whole 30 and kosher. Please visit mudwater.com slash YMH. That's M-U-D-W-T-R.com slash YMH to support the show and use code YMH at checkout for $5 off. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Go to Sattva. S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $225 off your mattress purchase. Hi, welcome to Lucifer's Lair. It's your host, Robert Paul Champagne here. You all know my kids by now, but I guess the new ones want to call and come over and fuck the shit at me. 917-353-2913. I bought something out they want to be bought out, but didn't bought it out. Right, boss. It's yeah. falling apart. They say you don't want to fix it. They're lazy. You don't want to... Oh, okay. calm down. I didn't care for the new game in today. That definitely too... Uh, too mushy. Too lovey-dovey. Yeah. Ready for the hardcore yeah. dick. That, that, that red flag. That, 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 that red flag. That, stroking my dick, man. Uh, Fucking naked, man. Yeah. If they call the phone... Okay. Let me smoke cigars. Okay. My mother, when I was a teen, used to sit and read porn books to me. I mean, we had fun. Way to go, RPC. We're proud of you, man. That was awesome. Please put up more videos like that. I mean, look, I have to tell you, though, his videos have gotten better. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, oh, 
quiero. The horniness is at a fever pitch. <laughs> And he can't take it anymore. He's now he's resorted to just ejaculating in front of people because he can't take his horniness anymore. Yeah, I he's totally get it. Pleaded, he's get begged, it. he's put it out there, and now he's just gonna masturbate in front of you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's a whole mood right there. You've been saying the phrase all morning. I brought something out to one of you brought it up, but they didn't brought it out. <laughs> RPC is always inspiring us. <laughs> for years the man i the, love him the most iconic person on ymh to date i would argue i would say that it's that is Robert definitely Paul champagne definitely come check it out they go to coney island I do my call. building try it out coney island such a great uh man i've been riding a high since uh friday friday same here i think that was arguably the best ymh live we've had it, it no it was and it you know these things are always subjective, so people, you know, will agree, disagree. But I, what if, from what I've seen, most people feel the same way. It was. It was awesome. I'll tell you, it and felt I, I, Let electric. me just say that I think I speak for all of us here and, I, and everybody probably at home that it, it's a real disappointment to see you today. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that you would be disappointed and the staff and the energy is different now that Tina's gone. Yeah. She I've, was I've, here. I've been bummed out. Yeah. yeah, I've noticed that. Your penis has been much limper and you don't look at me as much. Mm. As What's the I... point? <laughs> um, we'll get into it all here in a moment. If you miss the live show, you can still watch it through this coming weekend. I'm going to have it extended. So uh, through the weekend, go to livestream.ymhstudios.com and uh, yeah, watch YMH Live 4. We'll go through a whole bunch of stuff that happened on the show here in a moment. Um, but let's uh, <laughs> let's get into this here. Let oh, see. the opening clip. Yeah, there's always. Uh, this guy's one of my faves. Oh, this is a different guy. Oh, oh. different guy. You're gonna. Okay. I think you're really gonna like this guy. Though. He <laughs> okay. seems cool. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you lads, but I'm sleeping with the fan on tonight, baby. Looking beaming. <laughs> yeah, seems pretty cool. <laughs> Who is Randy? Did Don't I bring him? anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fuck is dead! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, ow, 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 this is ow. just like a chill, new kind of cool lane, I thought. You know? Yeah, he's. Uh, we've met him before. Have we? Well, I've seen him on the talk then. Maybe you guys aren't familiar. Oh. Um, he's an alcoholic and he's uh, on TikTok. Okay. What? No, I'm serious because he's always like, <laughs> I went to the pub, I strapped one on, I got to go to work tomorrow. Uh, he's, a, he's a hot mess. He's great. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought like it was kind of one of those things that would be fun to go like, you know, it's kind of like a throwback to like, what are we seeing here? Are we seeing like a manic episode? <laughs> are we seeing maybe someone pop some Adderall just to wake up, you know, just like what's going on? Yeah. Because it <laughs> definitely has a cool look in his eye. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He's wearing, But he's using his fan, which is what you like to do too, so. Yeah, I don't usually make videos like this. I'm sleeping with the fan on tonight, baby. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Because mm -hmm. he actually made this and was like, oh, like people will. This, this content. This is appealing. This is <laughs> cool thing to show people you know <laughs> there's a fan on in my face the thing is all right man. tom yeah i like to see this stuff you do like i follow him and i i want to see it too I like well i don't know about you lads but i'm sleeping with the fan on tonight baby fucking beaming <laughs> <laughs> you think he's hammered Really? Because I've seen his his other talks, and he's always like, "I'm hungover, yeah. I'm going to the pub. That's what I got, you gotta I do. got this point. I got this point. And Work like, hard, play hard, <laughs> live life three six five. You know what it is. That's what we do here. 
<laughs> that is what we do here, man. Uh, we um, are riding a high from Friday. Like I have been smiling. Me too. All weekend. You and I have just been in the best moods. Well, here's the thing. It was it, so fun. It was just so fun. And I think, you know, we work really hard on putting the live shows together. It, it really is a huge like group effort and from like production, um, you know, reaching out to people. I mean, it's people know now, but you uh, you know, if they don't know, um, you, know, you went on oh a date with the king. Oh my god! It was pretty amazing. You guys, that's on the live show. We did. Um, oh, it was I mean, wild. We had Marcus King. They did like such an incredible performance. They did an original song. They did a cover of War Pigs. It was just like, and Chris Stefano, who was just like made for this. Sh- like, oh my some god! Some people. I was thinking about it. Some people. You know, we've had a lot of funny people as guests on our show. Some people are funny, and then there's people who are funny, and, and it works. Like it, it's a perfect marriage on the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So he, his personality, the it's way the sensibility of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Do you do you zone in on the stuff he's, that we kind of do? And great. He was so oh, so man. funny. Oh man, Chrissy. And then you know I, the real the showstopper, of course, was that you finally did the right thing. You know? <laughs> and you, you you looked respectable for once. For once, it yeah. was my transformation into tina yes your new love of your life oh, and God. that transformation was over the course of two days i yeah. it was wild it was like four hours of i'm still out of cum prosthetics it's been, it's been like yeah a few days and i'm just fully empty well y- we had to bang in the studio we, you guys didn't know this but when we stopped down and we were all done mm-hmm. tom and i fucked on the set yeah it's pretty cool on the couch it was pretty cool it was pretty hot, right? Yeah, it was. You know what? It felt like if sometimes, like when you disrespect a woman, it doesn't feel right. But like, it felt like the right thing to do. Yeah, know? because Tina <laughs> liked that abuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved it. That's what she leads. Like with. I, like you know, when I'm with Christina, I'm like, yeah, I'll I'll go take a shower. Yeah. But like with Tina, I was like, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like this is what you earned. This is what you're all about. She you doesn't know? deserve a shower. No. She doesn't deserve anything. No, and like, you know, I never spit in your face, but when you're a Tina, yeah. you know, I knew that, that would that's like that's like blowing you a kiss. Yeah, you really like that. And did you like finally getting rid of these pathetic hungry tits and getting yes. some real tits on me? Real fucking tits on you. Yeah. You really like those, huh? Mm-hmm. What about the tats on the tits? Oh God. <laughs> you know what's great is that when Chris DeStefano walked in and I was since getting it all done to me and he was like he didn't rec- recognize me at first and he's like oh i love it he's like, you could be he's like you're my next baby mama yeah everybody like, he's like, this is what i like chrissy i'm like are you serious yeah. i'm talking like i had knuckle tats that said tom forever yeah i had above the eyebrows oh, it was perfect i had everything you were perfect perfect yeah and i have to say that it like it was cool that i got the experience to to be basically like a crazy looking porno chick for a few hours. There's a, there's, I know I, now I, I know why girls do it. There's a lot of power in it. Yeah. This was a, you know, it's really interesting. There's the, um, <laughs> there's the initial, uh, kind of like, you know, wow of, of seeing it, it's, right. It's you react forever. in the moment. Yeah. But then it's kind of, it's kind of interesting to like break it down as a, like a social experiment. Yeah. You actually got to do it, like, because I've seen social experiments like this where they go, they put a a thin person in a fat suit and they walk around and they're like, oh my God, I was treated so differently. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Right, like they were shamed and people had disdain for them, but they got to experience what it's like. Yeah. Um, And there's that famous um, SNL sketch from, you know, 30 years ago where Eddie Murphy put on like a white, I mean, it was a sketch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he walked around and like walked into a bank and they're like, would you like a loan? Like, yeah. like, <laughs> like you know, it's a joke, but it's an experiment. But you got to go from like, you know, normal woman right. to like super slut. Right, but, but where sex is your superpower. Yeah. And I have to say, you guys are always like so cool to me and I felt the energy shift. It chain t- do the head thing that you did to me this morning where you're like a normal guy looks at you like this oh yeah yeah this is a this is for real this, this is the switch and this is like i i've felt it before it's it's not even conscious it's it's like primal biological dna wiring where like you look at a 
a, a normal woman, you know, like this. And then if like a whore like that, you go like, <laughs> yes, you know, yes. it's like your brain going, you should fuck that. You yeah. Need to, you need to impregnate that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I felt it from like, I would say, except for Chris Larson, who's legit. I mean, Chris is quiet. I think well, Chris he got- was also like, that's a disgusting woman. <laughs> 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 like he wasn't like, oh, that's appealing. He was like, that's a broken woman that needs therapy and help. Yeah. And she probably needs a shelter to live in. You know? <laughs> How right? did you feel, Chris? Because you were the quietest of all the boys. I mean, yeah, like <laughs> it, it was a, a traumatizing look, but uh, <laughs> it still made my dick hard for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can't believe he yes. said that. Yes. I cannot believe he said that. That was you know, the best. We've been trying to get Chris to say something inappropriate for years. Like fucking feels like 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And it still made his dick hard. I'm telling you, it's not even, you're not even thinking about it. It's just it automatically, it's, we, we're still animals at our core. Yeah. So you, know? you so, so what it is, is the hyper sexuality. It's the yeah. extra big tits, the extra big lips, the extra, everything's <laughs> so extra. Now, does that make your dick hard too, or is that too big, too cray cray? Well, that's such an extreme. Like, I mean, I'm not soft, right? You know what I mean? It's still there. There's a little blood flow, Chris. It's uh, so extreme. Your dick still get hard when you see that one. <laughs> that's a yes. Okay. Yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> your mom's house live. You'll feel it in your mouth. <laughs> that's, that's such a sad look on her face. <laughs> that doesn't make my dick hard. <laughs> that was a good clip too. Uh, you guys really yeah. found some bangers in the heavy. This, I, that's this, amazing. I think Clavicles made this. Gosh. This is a piece of art, man. This is rad. He took a photo. I think Any took this photo. Or I don't know. Or if Lindsay took it. I don't remember who took this photo. I think it might have been Any. But it, uh, he threw the like Pulp Fiction artwork on it. So yeah. cool. And also my favorite, the the tat the the tats. Is your head, and then there's horns coming out of your head, which is just the best. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh my this god. This is a meme breaking down what <laughs> YMH Live Four was. <laughs> like, oh my god. It's it was amazing, you guys. It was. It was. It really was. It was so fu- like that's the thing god. is I've said it before, but it's so the live shows to me are feel like when I'm on tour and and you have a show one night where you're like that was that was a banger. Yeah. So the next morning. You're walking through the hotel and you're yeah. like, oh man, that electric. was so fun. It was all on. Everything was yeah, on. Yeah, it was on. Uh, well, just a few more words about being a tatted chick. Yeah, though. yeah. So I I was surprised at how much I enjoyed wearing the tattoos. Yeah. I actually really, really liked them. Well, you kept an, a, an arm sleeve. I kept. For... I asked him to keep one of the sleeves on, not daddy with the double horns because I didn't want our kids to completely cry when they <sighs> saw me. What happened to dad? <laughs> but I... <laughs> I kept the left sleeve with like the. It actually ball. looked rad. It, it was so cool. Dope. And then I kept here. I still have. I kept her because yep. I like thirteen, lucky thirteen. Uh-huh. But the knuckle tats were awesome, and I really still want to get those. And I think I want a sleeve. Yeah. Because I liked walking around our neighborhood with it. The next day, I wore like a suburban mom outfit with the sleeve, and it was rad. Those face tats look good. I don't know about the face. The face one's really aggressive. But you know what I was thinking was because I. I knew what you were talking about, and 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 you said you know you could feel you feel the shift it's yourself. It's a total different. And you feel energy. the like the the power. I was like, oh, I kind of wish everyone could jump like could try this. Like every woman to get hypersexualized, and then men with the equivalent, whatever the equivalent is. You know, it's kind of different to to dress a man. I up wish like this. you would do that. Well, what do you mean to do? Can we hypersexualize? I mean, I'm pretty fucking hardcore sexy. I don't know what you would do to me. You know. I was thinking, though, I would rather have you be more softer. Yeah, that's what you said. Because, you know, with this hypersexual lady, you were jizzing on me all weekend. And I was like, okay, like enough. Like, I kind of, I wouldn't mind you moving into a different direction a little. Like, now with your health kick, you're fucking juicing all the time. You're making your shakes. You're eating spinach, spinach, everything. Maybe, maybe could we, like, snuggle a little bit more? Yeah, I mean, I just like, I know that you can come. Can you can you cuddle? <laughs> is what I'm asking for. I, hear, I see what you mean. You can want... you just be a little? Yeah. I mean, you're very masculine. I really like that about you, but it's always like, ah, fuck yeah, you know, like a just a little softer. Yeah. 
Okay. That'll be my experiment. Okay. I'll try let's, to get softer. Let's get you softened. Oh, I was going to say the one thing I didn't like about being hyper sex girl. Yeah. Is that when you're this identity, like the tats and the tits and the hair and the door knocker and at the lip, the lips, it there's no down time. Like you're, right. you're I think what's the problem with this yes. identity is that it's, always you're always that person and in regular life like one night i like to look like her like yeah yeah maybe i'll wear a trampy dress out for dinner with tom and i'm like this girl for one night and then you take off the makeup yeah i think when you're always this way that's when well, it gets I, sad i noticed that it's um weird when you know when we finally left you put on what strippers wear when they're done stripping <laughs> which is baggy sweats <laughs> yeah. because baggy sweats tell the world hey don't sexual i'm like, done don't, yeah don't yeah. sexualize me every human being has the right to go, I'm wearing baggy sweats <laughs> and that means I want to relax. You're like, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to be approached Stop or- Stop putting yes. your dick in me. Don't yeah. Put, yeah, pull your dick away. Put your dick away, everybody. And that's the porn girl and strippers like uh, <sighs> announcement to the world. I'm not working right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, please, let yes. me just let me just get a fucking bag of chips <laughs> yeah. and a fucking soda. I, I just want to relax. Yeah, but Tina, she could get yeah. anything she wanted in this world. Yeah, yeah. That bitch could- ruin countries and ruin lives oh ruin yeah ruin marriages ruin. Ruin. she's a she's a home wrecker that one. Oh yeah she's but also country like country wrecker i also feel like you know it wouldn't even register she'll be like what <laughs> yeah yeah i blew those six guys so what so that <laughs> what? Huh? but and i the, and then the guy's like she's so hot baby <laughs> <laughs> the guy that marries like is that girl like has a husband You're like you have a husband he's like i love what you fucks like eight guys <laughs> those yeah. guys who's the guy that's like who's the guy that really he's in vegas yeah he's and, a vegas guy know, definitely he loves in vegas. he's got a lot of shiny shit and yeah shiny suits always with partying got a lot he wears a lot of rings yeah you know he's got he's got a lot of wristbands he's and a party guy he's a party guy for sure a party guy and he's like you want to fuck or you want to fuck her <laughs> <laughs> i love it i love it babe um Speaking of the live show, we asked and we have because it was so fun. I got tagged in fucking hundreds of stories on Instagram. And I think people also emailed in the, their reacting to heavy clips. Oh, my God. And it's kind of one of my favorite things uh, to watch are the people reacting because it's just it's fun. It makes you feel like you're alive, like part of yeah. the show. And so I haven't seen these yet, but they're in my folder so oh here's God. some some people watching the heavy segment, and uh, it's it's really it's really fun to see these. What the fuck? Oh my God! Oh my God! This is where I'm like, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> That's Julia yeah. J. Here's Alex K. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? No, 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 Tom. Oh, it's open up. It's your eyeballs opening up. What? What is he doing? Oh god. Oh god, not puke. Oh, pukes. No. Please stop, 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 please stop. Oh my god. Oh, that's so great. Yeah. Andrew B. No. No. At the same time. This is why we have to. No, look what he's doing now. Look what he's doing now. Look what he's doing now. What? What? There's so much anxiety. Oh. Oh, He's rocking. No. 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 The cat is like, what's happening? Oh, yeah. Oh, 
She looks really traumatized by but it. But everybody, you can hear us in the studio, and we're oh, yeah. the same way. It yeah, was so yeah. horrible. That was horrible. That was a crazy the heavy, closer, dude. Well, the clo- but the whole heavy segment had like such, it was like a symphony. It was. It really, it, it was. It built it beautifully. I mean, it, it was. really was something special. And I love that there was a, there was a, a kind of a soft opening, so people were like, oh, this is not so bad. You know, yeah. it's like, kind of progresses. It's, it's exactly what a heavy segment should be. Yeah. So. <laughs> right, it starts with on a little amuse bouche. Yeah, they're like, Something. oh, they're fucking on a mountain? Okay, yeah, what's cool. that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you get your appetizer <laughs> yeah. and the and, soup, uh, and then, wait a minute, yeah. this is different. And then you're like, you want to drink some fucking uh, <laughs> gasoline to close this thing out? <laughs> it's crazy, man. It, it was, was so crazy. Fun. So anyways, yeah, I mean, Thank everybody. Thank you to everybody that joined us. Thank you to everybody that works yes, here. Yes, you guys it did really a great was, job. It was a great thing. Whew. Fuck, that was <sighs> so much fun, Gene. Yeah, it was fun. I just, I love the amount of, I just love the, how much people care about our show and how much yeah. we care and everyone cares. It's nice. It's fun. It's, it's so really fun. much fun. Um, it's, it was so fun. It was fun to become Tina and it was fun to meet the king. I mean, and do you really good s- morning, yeah. my queen above 18. Uh, it was this, wild. Yeah, it's just time to wake up. You went on a date with this guy. Yeah, bro. And you'll see it on the live show. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away about our courtship, but we learned a lot about him. Yeah. Uh, we got to learn about how to order merch. And everything. And he's got a new business enterprise that you guys are going to hear all about. It's pretty wild. He's really expanding. It's the wildest shit I've yeah. ever heard, and good for him. I think good for he's him. a millionaire now with his new business model. Okay. If you could only figure out how to order. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know what it is. Livestream.ymastudios.com. Link in the description. <laughs> Check it out if you haven't yet. It was a, it was really a blast. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> God damn it. God damn it is right. It's just... So we descended from Friday, we and then into Easter Sunday. We had relatives over, and we, we also went. had a relative uh, that we Facetimed with, who was home, home, with his family wearing a mask. <gasps> Are we going to talk about this? <laughs> sure, why I'm not? So excited that you're bringing this. I mean, it was just like I was like, we were. Fa- I didn't say it because I was like, hey, he was like, hey, man, with his kid, and he had a mask on. And we were like, what are you doing? Yeah. So hold on, back it up. Like this person was in his. In his own home yes. with his two small children on either side of him wearing a mask. It was so wild. It was the craziest. And I saw it and I immediately was so upset by it that I was like, no, no. And I turned and I like ignored him. Everyone else was talking and I was like, I can't, I can't. Yeah. It was really strange. And he's been vaccinated. Yeah. Bruh. So like, he's like are shit's, we done? Shit's serious out here. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I didn't bring it up. That was the best. I was like, how's everything going? (laughs) Jesus Christ, man. All right. The future of toileting has arrived. It's technically been around for centuries, but hideously expensive, costing thousands. Now, the brand new Hello Tushy 3.0 modern bidet attachment is here to level the playing field. It is stylish, eco-friendly, easy to install, and affordable. Hello Tushy 3.0 doesn't just cleanse your butt with a precise stream of fresh water it cleans itself before and after it's used with the smart spray automatic self-cleaning nozzle it attaches to your existing toilet requires no electricity or additional plumbing and cuts toilet paper used by 80 percent so the hello tushy bidet pays for itself in a few months because with hello tushy you don't wipe at all you just poop spray dry and go and sanitation is simple the Schmutz Shield offers easy cleaning and the knobs are naturally uh, antimicrobial. You guys have to try it. We have one. We've loved it. It's like a fire hose on your butt. Go to hellotushy.com slash your mom. Get 10% off your order and free shipping. Hey, mommies. It's time to follow Proto and shave your balls. <laughs> Our sponsor for today's show, Manscaped, is here to treat all of your queens above 18 with fresh shaven balls. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash mom. Look here, you big titted animals. If you're coming up in May, you are in luck because the Manscaped Performance Package is the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. This bundle includes the Lawnmower 3.0 trimmer, the best trimmer on the market for your balls, butt, and body. A clean scrum allows no excuses for someone to be stingy. 
Included in this package is the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, which is waterproof and uses a 9,000 RPM motor power dual blade system. There's no hair left when you're done trimming with that thing. There's, there's no options for hair. It's absolutely fantastic. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com slash mom. Thank you, Manscaped, for making sure our pubes don't pop out of our high and tight jeans. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash mom. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash mom. Shave your funk and stay away from Garth's trunk with Manscaped. I mean, you know, this whole this whole year it has affected people differently everyone's going and, in different directions you know, i mean i know people that are still oh we got oh my god what? we uh we're on an email chain with parents no you first no. of all may i back up so saturday morning <laughs> we're all tired and hung over from and tom yeah. comes into the kitchen at 6 30 in the morning we're up with our kids he's ear to ear smiling and i go uh, what are you so happy you about? You said, no, you literally said it. We wrote it down. So let me see it. I can't yeah, see it. You said, you look happy I this morning. I said, you look happy this morning. Did you see something horrible on the internet? That's what you said to me. Because nothing, and I know when it's that, nothing makes you as happy as like a Twitter war or a fucking nasty email chain or a crazy Facebook. Like I- Well, yeah, I mean, have you guys been watching this show? Yeah, I know. <laughs> But like I see the Twitter war yes. and I'm like, ugh, yes. that is cancer. Yep. You on the other hand are like, what's going on? What's going on? Can yeah. I see it? Twitter Can I tag war? in? Like, yeah. <laughs> who's getting who's getting in fights? It's true. You it's love true. it. Okay, so let's let's go through the Um So it, you're talking about the email chain between an the email parents, chain between parents at our parents. school, which is fucking. And this this insane. kinda this this really made me sit up straight. I was like, oh, this this could be interesting. <laughs> So basically, I don't want to quote it because, you know, exactly, but essentially oh a boy. parent, so it's, it's parents that, you know, they share when you, when your kid's in a school, they'll give every parent the email of all the parents. Not right? anymore, but yeah. And, and then they're like. <laughs> Not after this episode. No. It's just all, it's just parents. So no, no school administrators, no, no teachers. It's just a way for parents to so talk So a lot of times, shit, and especially know? with this year, they'll be like, hey, you know, like when school was closed, they'll say. We're taking our kid to this park. If you want to bring your kid, we'll be there tomorrow at nine. Play in the morning. date. Yeah, we're all gonna wear our masks. We'll all be sanitized. Do that blah, stuff. blah blah blah. Like, so okay. everything in this thing has been like that, like play date, blah blah blah. You know, and you read it and you're like, okay. And then that morning, somebody writes, um, "Hey, you know, I didn't, I didn't know whether or not to send this to the group or not, but I've decided to." And I was, when I was like, hmm. "Your ears perked right up." Yep. And I was like, "What's this?" Oh, thing? juicy. And it says. Uh, you know, we've done so well so far um, and we're almost out of this thing. So let's not screw it up for everybody this weekend. And <laughs> basically the kids had a week off from school. Spring break, yeah. And, they, and the school made it so that to come back to school, you have to get the kid tested, COVID tested again, regardless of what, where you live or what the kid did or anything. So, Which we complied. We're yeah, like, of course, we yeah, complied. Dude, whatever, we got, we got the here's test. the test. So, but then the person in this email said, if you got your kid tested on Friday and Sunday, Sunday was Easter, they go, and, and you plan on having like a Easter extravaganza in which you'll see new people and, and extended family, you're not doing anybody any favors. And that's not fair. So please keep your kid out of school next week. But this was a parent saying it to the group of parents, right? So I just was smiling because I was like, oh, this is a crazy person. And it's funny that you're going to try to dictate that, you know? So I just smiled and I was like, oh, I, and part of my brain was like, I wonder if someone's going to like throw a jab back, you know? <laughs> Look so. how happy you are. I mean, it, to me, I see that email. I'm like, this person's sad. They're full of anxiety. I yeah, hope they feel. I mean, and Tom is like. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was all. Let's I mean, go. You know, part of me gets like, are you really lecturing? Like, you it's know? insanity. It's yeah. it, these parent threads are always insane. So I don't. By the way, I've never responded. To no, any of them. No, I've never engaged anybody on. It, these. They're just to read and laugh at. So I'm, honestly, engaged. I'm a little offended that they would give my email out. I feel like I'm a little too important of a person to be on. <laughs> oh, <okay>. So, <laughs> so anyway, I was like, okay, I guess we're well, uh, Mr. Ego. Are we back swiping in town. bank accounts in this? So, anyway, oh, I see this email and I just laugh. Right, I laugh, and and then I'm just waiting. I'm waiting, and then yesterday or was it this morning this morning this morning 
a mom goes, I was thinking, I was debating whether or not to send this, but here goes, and it's to the group. So I was like, <laughs> oh man. A two step. And this mom goes, listen, everything has been fine. We've done da da da. There's no cases at the school. Not one. And, Not one this whole time. And I'll tell you what I did this weekend. We went somewhere <laughs> with our family and we wore masks when we were around people and we didn't when we didn't have to. And uh, I'm coming to school tomorrow. <laughs> whether you like it or not and it was like what now bitch <laughs> and i got so juiced up i was like oh have you read this email yet mom drama yeah and i'm now i'm just like i want to finish this show just so i can pick up start <laughs> reading the see email see if there's on. a response yeah well yeah. i was thinking and she called out the mom but to a group of like 20 to all the yeah. moms in the class these yeah. are all the mom the parents in I think I'm going to jump in and be like, look, as the only celebrity in this chain, <laughs> keep this going. Well, listen to what I had. I had a feeling because I'm, I like the principal. I stand behind her. I think she's yeah. bright. I think that she's protected everybody thus far. Not one case of COVID at her school. She, she's done a good job. I was thinking, because I forwarded her our son's negative COVID test, yeah. as, as I was told to do, being like, hey, principal, just a heads up. The parents are fired up about You told her? It. Well, that's what I'm debating. Should I do it or not? No, 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 no. Well, then I thought better of it. No, don't. Don't. But let think this, about the kerosene on that fire, Tom. Wait, let's just see if someone has. <laughs> you, what if I gave the principal a heads up so then she got in on the drama and then you could read that chain? We're leaving soon anyways. It'll be so much fun. I know. Where is it? <sighs> I forwarded it to you this morning. The last response... And I like that mom who responded. She's, they're all cool, actually. I, I, I wasn't aware there were such nervous Nellies in the bunch. It's funny with parents, too, because you can tell who the nervous Nellies are because they're the ones who send out the most emails and respond. Is it there? Not, no response yet. <laughs> but I bet she's cooking something up. You, know? you think she's preparing like you are? Oh, yeah. Putting some thought into it, you psycho? Well, I mean, I'm not going to jump in, but I'm just going to watch that Well, that's that show. the thing, though. Do you just enjoy as a spectator, or will you jump in? No, I, it's a spectator thing for me. In private life. Look, but if somebody says something directly to me, yeah, that's, different. that's different. Or if somebody says something about my kid, Fuck off. you're going to get the full fucking wrath of evil that exists inside of me. Sure. But if you just want to engage each other, I'm going to watch. Yeah. What about Twitter? Do You, you do get involved in Twitter rarely, battles. Rarely, rarely. Rarely. What I really, about, really, it's mostly okay. spectator, it's spectator stuff for me. What about the gram? You instigate on the gram anymore? No. Done. Totally done. Totally done. I grew up. <laughs> I, I really don't. I, I, see, I, I see stuff all the time. I mean, I don't even, I don't look as much as I used to, but I'll see something. I don't, I don't respond, you know. So now in hindsight, that one time you had the incident at the sushi restaurant when you were traveling and then you encouraged our listeners to get on their Yelp and write them a negative Yelp review. Do, do you think that's a, that was a good thing? That or? was immature. Yeah. That was immature and emotional. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not proud that I did that, honestly. Really? No. I mean, yeah. I, I realized that. It's pretty funny though. I, I realized that they were wrong too. Yeah. But the way that I handled it was, it was a very emotional, immature thing to do. Oh, you really yeah. have grown. Yeah, I mean, you know. This is the softer side I was looking for. Oh, fuck that shit. Okay. No, I shouldn't have done that. I like this, Tom. Yeah? Yeah, I like the, I like evolved, like you're very alpha, you could go a little beta. I'm not saying you have to wear crystal, crystal rocks around your neck, mm -hmm. but I like this guy. Yeah. Just don't turn vegan because I don't think I can date. Oh yeah, that, that's right around vegan. the corner for me. <laughs> Could you imagine? You would die if you were a meat eater. Yeah, no, I haven't eaten a lot, uh, really any red meat in a, in a while. That's but, probably good for you though. Yeah, it's good to like mix it up, you know. Ate yeah. a lot of chicken. How's your browns? Quite. Have your browns been better? Eh, somewhat, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like I haven't heard you be like, oh, that was a slopper. No, no, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been eating so clean that, yeah, it's good. They haven't been diarrhea as much. No, yeah, I'm down a whole like a uh, shirt size and pants. Crazy size. town. I love it. So you're I gonna do like uh, like Christian Bale shit, you know? Yeah. Like look like a fucking AIDS patient. Yeah, you're you're on your way to AIDS. You're yeah. HIV skinny right now. <laughs> yeah. What was that? The machinist or something? Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Hmm. I just wanna see what it's like. It's you like look. 
you wore your horse suit. I want to do that. Did he really? Is that real? Yeah. He really got that thin. Uh huh. That's wild. Christian Bale's yeah. the best actor. In He's the world. so great. I know. He's my one of my favorites. And he got Ooh. yoked for that for the other for Batman and for. American. How did he get that? Th- couldn't they he just starved CGI? Himself. He starved himself. He. You definitely shouldn't do this. He's a gifted yeah. actor. He is. He commits. Are you gonna do that for me? I want you Christian Bale skinny. You want me like that, like the machinist? I got big tits. You can do that. Okay, if that's if that's what turns you on. No, I want. Here's what I want you to be. I want you to be, like, guy in our neighborhood jogger skinny, and he wears like the biker shorts and he's shirtless. That's about one eighty, one eighty five. I want to see you jogging in your biker shorts and shirtless around town. I could get that. Could be a good goal. It's yeah. And then making noises. And, and then when people are like, hey, man, how much weight are you going to lose? I'll be like, wife wants to see me shirtless jogging. That'll just be my answer. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Check this out. This has made me laugh for weeks. <laughs> I haven't played it. Almost. Tell me if you know what's happening. Keep going. Keep going. You got it. You got it. He hit a pole in the Keep going. Keep going. There we go. F- what was that part? Yeah, that's the part. Do you get it? I don't get it Here, now. watch again. Almost. Keep going, keep going. You got it, you got it. Keep going, keep going. There we go. <gasps> now do you get it? Kind of. Did his airbag go off? Yes. His, okay, but his head didn't come out the window. <laughs> no, that's his hat. Oh. <laughs> uh, I got really scared. <laughs> I thought we were into decapitation no, stuff now. No, no, no. So if you're that's listening terrible. or if you don't still don't understand what's happening, somehow this Silverado... Um, you know, pretty big pickup truck was up on three wheels, the so one in suspended in the air and had run into a light post, like a big cement light post. And I don't know, I mean, we don't know how he got there, but then he backs up off of it with the guy filming. And when the car lands down, like off mm-hmm. of it onto the ground, a beat later, his airbags go off and his hat goes flying out the window. But it's like, it's super. You don't usually get to see something like this. No, you know? it is very special. Thank you yeah. for sharing. Almost. <laughs> How did he end up like this? Keep going. Keep going. Two got, wheels on it. it. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. You got it, man. That dude, by the way, is probably unconscious in the car. A hundred percent. Do do airbags kill you more than like? No, they don't just kill the you, accident? but they they like, knock people out. And I know a couple of people that. Had airbags go off and black and blue, you know, right. eyes. No, oh yeah, because they come out so f- it's supposed to keep you, you From know, the impact. Yeah, of yeah. like a major act of speed. So Dang. they come out really fast. Uh, they can, uh, it can lead to <laughs> cervical spine injuries, fractures, strains, blunt force trauma, fractures to the skull, rib cage, face, arms and wrists, concussions, <laughs> brain swelling, brain bruising, and loss of consciousness. <laughs> And this, they might have all happened on this one. I know. Because <laughs> that guy, his other thing is like in an accident, it's not like you're expecting it, but this guy definitely was not expecting that, you know? He no. might not have had his seatbelt on. He's just like, what's that? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got it off the light bulb. Pow! He just get fucking punched <laughs> in the face. You know, because you're just casually sitting there relaxed and that yeah. thing comes at you. Not it's different. Not bracing for impact yeah. at all. Anyways, I really wow, enjoyed Wow, thanks it. for sharing that. Yeah. It was really special. Here's another thing that's kind of special, I think, to see if you... Yeah. I don't know if you've seen this before. Have you ever seen somebody like... Yeah, I've seen this in Venice Beach. Like panhandling? Yeah. But like he's laying on a thing and then... Oh, yeah, it's trading oh, places. It's the beginning of trading. Yeah, and th- what this guy's doing, he's taking this guy's pants off, who's asking for money, which you're like, oh, my God, that's so abusive, right? Like, leave this poor legless man alone. Come on. And then you see that he has legs. Oh, no. I have no legs. Uh, That's a good racket, though. It's a good scam. Yeah. It's a good scam. I I admire that because I think he probably does make a killing as a legless guy. Yeah. That's a really good racket. Well, sure, because he just, you know. Yeah, I would give him money. He just swims on his board all day. (laughs) (laughs) On his wheel board. (laughs) <laughs> and people well, are like oh this poor man well let's talk about it what do you think's a better racket is it the sympathy play or is it the entertaining play do you well it's much easier to get sympathy entertainment takes skill that's true so it's, it's much harder i mean like 
you know, you see these guys, like if you're in New York, you get on the subway and sometimes you'll see like break dancers. I or love that people, shit. And you go like, this is a real performance. Yes. You know? the, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Like you're not tired after a day of sympathy. You yeah. Know? But th- these guys, this guy's doing this shit. You're just fucking with people essentially. You you're know? messing with their emotions. You are. But I'm, I'm more apt to give the entertainer money. For sure. Because you go, oh, that was clever. Like when Even you, if this was legit, I'd be like, I'm not giving you any money. Just grow some legs, man, you know? <laughs> but like, <laughs> if it's a, <laughs> a break dancer yeah. or something, I'm like, that's That's cool. always, to yeah. me, I like the effort of entertaining. And when yeah. they get you, I love when they get you in New yes. York City, they're like, hey, pretty lady. And then yeah. like the, they get you on the gag or whatever. Or they, like, you ever see the um, like bucket drummers? Like I like, love on, that one, yeah. I mean, that's, it's a, that is a musician. So yes. he's, he's, he's playing for you, you know? It's, yeah. I've given money for that. I've given money for that. And back in Venice Beach, back in the 80s, they had so many of those entertainers. It used to just be a row of them. Yeah. There was a guy who would juggle chainsaws. Yeah. He was really famous. Uh, the break dancing was huge when yeah. I was a little kid. That's skill. That was so fun, yeah. They practiced that for like thousands of hours. I know. But these legless fucks on skateboards, no way, right, Tom? <laughs> That's, Yeah. Yeah, fuck those guys. Yeah, fuck you. Well, this guy's pretending to be legless. I mean, really fuck him, you know? Yeah. That, that's a... That's a piece of shit, man. Hey, that's not, this is not that far removed from uh, calling up an old lady and being like, oh, have you changed your banking information? <laughs> and she's like, I'll send... Yeah. Oh, where should I send it, you know? I wish I could see their tax returns and know who makes more money, the legless beggar or the talented beggar. I don't know. I know I saw a news, like a local news piece one time... Um, that staked out and followed a bullshit um, person like on a, you know, at the, like at the end of a Ooh, like off that. ramp. And they were like, this person made like $600 today doing this. And then Damn. they just, they stay in dirty clothes and, and you know, go back to their place and they come back the next, they're like making thousands of dollars. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Not to say that there aren't legitimately, you know, people begging that need it. I'm just saying that that is a, that can be a, a big scam. For sure. But wow. I, I respect the entertainer much more. Yeah, I like when you earn your living, even yeah. if it's just like, or magic show, there was a guy doing a magic show a while back in Santa Monica, yeah. I like that kind of stuff. Like even if your skill is you drop your pants and you take a shit on the sidewalk. I'd like, like that. That's a show, you know? That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool show. I'm, I'm willing to pay for it. Yeah. Um, well, that was a nice video. <laughs> is it a federal crime to shit in public? Federal. Come on, that's a, a federal little crime. far. Def- public defecation. Public defecation is a federal crime? Why wouldn't no. it be? I don't think so. It's just frowned upon. I doubt it's a federal. It's a misdemeanor. It's a California code yeah. violation. Yeah, public defecation. I mean, people are doing it right now in California a lot. No yeah. one's tagging them. I don't know. It's unlawful, but it's a California thing. You realize that in like really... You think it's in the Constitution? <laughs> It's you know it's like um, in really crowded places, poor like places like in India, and you see people just going to the bathroom all the time. Oh, I know, and I learned about it on our show when we did a segment a while ago, a few years ago, on public defecation in India. It's, it was a oh. huge thing. Remember? Do you remember? Yeah, it was uh, vaguely. Do you remember Nadav? What was that? Yeah, it there was, was like... there was just a, a <laughs> news report of just massive public defecation in like one of the the, <laughs> the like lakes or something in India. Oh. <laughs> what about in China? Didn't you say people were pooping in the streets a lot they, in China? In China, they poop indoors, like in the mall and stuff. That's and they right. Had the, like when I was in uh, Hong Kong, even <laughs> or in Macau, they had some like "Don't shit in here" signs, like "Don't shit on the floor." <laughs> right. But that's because like in China. <laughs> In ma- mainlanders who don't live in cities that live like in rural par- parts, uh, they defecate openly. So then, when they go to Beijing or something, they're just like, "Oh, I'll just shit here." And they're like, "No, no, no, you can't, you can't just shit on the ground here." Yeah, it kind of makes sense when you think about, you know, why they do it. It makes sense. Yeah, just shit where you want. You know, I might, for some reason reminded me of when we went to Disneyland and we went on the haunted mansion ride, and and I was talking about given hand jobs or something and people would write in remember and they yeah. were like oh yeah i totally gave hand jobs oh, yeah. people want to scatter ashes on the on the rides we yeah. have to stop people from doing stuff You're like the what is wrong with you crazy. guys hand jobs on on small world now there's, that's there's kids everywhere man come <laughs> on you're gonna come on this thing <laughs> so fucked up i'd rather you scatter your ashes 
then come then on come Small on, World. Yeah. Yeah. Um, even, uh, and I can understand the allure of, um, pi- well, not Pirates of the Caribbean. The go- oh, the- I can feel it. Mm. The oh, hot- that's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small world. <laughs> So fucked up, man. <laughs> the haunted mansion, though, that's a good ride to to get a handy on. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah. You're in the dark for a long time. I don't know, but like, there's like, there's all these jarring movements. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, I'm feeling, <laughs> and then you turn the other way. <sighs> well, I'm about to come, but I got scared by the. <laughs> Do you think you could come on Space Mountain? It's dark. Here's the thing, though. How close am I to coming before we get? On? <laughs> Are we going from like full soft? That's a lot of work. <laughs> What if I work you up in the line? Oh my like, god! As we're as we're getting on, and then by the time you're sitting down, you're already like you're ready to 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 go- bagog, and then you know what I'm I saying. I still feel like the employees would be like, "You got to stop doing that, man." But are they watching so much? Well, on they're Space noticing. Mountain? They're like, "We've seen her play with your dick the whole time you've been in line," <laughs> <laughs> and we're we're gonna call security here in a second. Look what, at all the families here, man. What about Thunder, Thunder Splash Mountain or Thunder Mountain? Yeah, Splash Mountain. I could be like, it's not come, it's water. It's like a fucking <laughs> splash. Yeah, that's the nice part about coming on Splash Mountain is that you can clean your pants off by mm-hmm. the end of the ride, so nobody will be any wiser. Yeah, I got to say, it's one of the less appealing things that I've heard in a while. <laughs> I'm not really into okay, it. Okay, let me just run this by you. You have to get a hand job on a ride. Okay. Which ride will it be? I have to get a hand job on a ride. A Disney, a Disney, a, is it Dumbo? Because yeah, okay. So you have a lot of little kids, really little kids, but you're in your own private little Dumbo. Elephant. Is is it going to be hard to come with all the people screaming yes. and? Yes. <laughs> also, I'm going into this scenario assuming I haven't come in like two weeks, right? Because I can't imagine being like, you're... I can't wait until we leave Disneyland. I have to come <laughs> now. <laughs> Okay. You're so worked up. Is it Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, which is also nice and dark? So I'm in Disney and I'm like, oh, oh. Uh. I'm, I'm looking at Minnie Mouse like this. Like, You've got the head down, fully predatory. She's the prey. Yeah, is it Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, which is also dark, but kind of herky jerky? Minnie. Peter Pan, nice mm. and dark too. Yeah. But that one's got, you can fly, you can fly, you can, no. like, it's going to be hard to come with all the kid, the kid songs around I you. I just feel like I would still be like, I don't want to come here. <laughs> I want to leave. <laughs> you have to, is it Jungle Cruise? God, I don't even know half these fucking things. We just wrote these when Skeetle turned four. I checked out. You think I was paying attention? <laughs> you have to pick. Okay, Pirates of the Caribbean. Now you run What's the- What's this one right here? Peter Pan's Flight? Yeah, that's that's Euro Disney, so I don't know if it's gonna. Yeah, look that's what the I'll same. do. Let's go to Paris. I'll fucking come anywhere there. <laughs> All the little French kids are like, "Mama, Mama, le come, le come, le homme, come, bagac, all of it." How do you say that man is coming on the ride in French? Il homme. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Oh. Oh. That's right. <laughs> that man is ejaculating in French. In uh, French. <laughs> in French. Uh, <laughs> Dude, no, scratch that out. Come on. Okay, put English yeah. to French. Should I just sing the song? Yeah. And then, no, 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 no. Just that. Looking for you. Hurry and then you text it. You put the shit. type in there, yeah. The yeah. Googling. This will be interesting. Let's see how do we. And then you can hit the, the voice there. There you go. Cet homme éjacule. Yeah. There you go. Mama, 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 mama. Cet, cet homme, homme éjacule. There you go. And do you think like you wouldn't care as much because it's Euro Disney? And I'd be like, you're not. You know, it's okay. They're not uptight. The French are very open. They'd probably be like, yes, of course. I wouldn't be banned or canceled there. Never. I'd be like there is that American comedian who he made a white all over our city. Cet homme éjacule. <laughs> there is a, the come man. But I bet you at Euro Disney, there are rides made to come on. That's how cool the French are. The French that are they're right. like, you guys ready to eject? The French come literally on, abide by... Live Life 365. They always live Life 365. <laughs> yeah, and I bet they have alcohol everywhere at their Euro Disney. You know mm. how we're lame and only in Orlando, you can, you can get drunk in Orlando. You I've can? heard that. That there are bars in the... Um, the Disney in Orlando. Really? Dude, I heard one time someone was like, dude, we go to the Orlando Disney just to get faded at their bars. I'm like, that sounds terrible. 
Why would you go to Disneyland to just get go fucking to a bar. ripped? Yeah, like it's so expensive. Just go to a regular bar, dummy. Yeah. Bar four, six best House nightclubs at Disney World, Florida. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's Florida is just feral. They are yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, but you can only drink in one place in Disney America, and I'm sorry, California, at the Club Thirty Three. They serve which you, alcohol. Which you need a membership. It's for. a private club. You have to yeah. Yeah, secret secret. But I'm sure in Euro, Euro Disney, they're like, you can do heroin, you can do blow, you can ejaculate on all these rides. It's good to teach kids how to have fun. <laughs> it's good to teach kids that your life's about fucking. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. Rarely we did this, but I got to go pee. You. You're kidding. I good. Pee. I always have to pee. Express VPN lets you change your online location so you can control where you want sites to think you're located. You open the app, select the location, tap one button to connect and refresh the page to access thousands of new shows and movies. You know what I like, Dan? I like my UK shows. I like all things uh, Royals, and I use ExpressVPN. I open it up. I open up Netflix, and now, boom, I A can lot of watch people it. aren't aware that, that they restrict content based oh, on yeah. where you live. So you get totally different libraries. If you're in Canada, France, Japan, Yep. China, like it's all different. So you know, by by changing your location, you're getting all new content. Yeah, even and I subscribe to BritBox now, mm -hmm. and I can do that because of ExpressVPN. You can stream in HD, no problem, no buffering or lag. It's compatible with all your devices, your phones, your laptops, your media consoles, smart TVs, and more. Go to expressvpn.com/slash your mom to get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Expressvpn.com/slash your mom. This episode is brought to you by our partner, Whoop. Tom and I are huge fans of Whoop. We love it. We track how we sleep. You track how much strain you put on your body when you worked out, how many calories you're burning. It's great to keep your fitness on track and helps you solve all the burning questions with its built-in coaching features. Um, yeah, Whoop is something I would recommend to anyone regardless of their fitness level. The data it provides is so helpful to anyone who wants to know themselves on a better level, especially if you're working towards goals like you and I are losing weight now. Yeah, it's just, you don't, you can't get this insight any other way. That's the thing, is yeah. like you're getting insight on your body. It's so awesome. And for our listeners today, if you've been thinking about giving Whoop a shot, there's no better time to give it a shot. For our listeners, you can save 15% off a of Whoop with the code Your Mom. Go to Whoop, W H O O P.com. Use code Your Mom at checkout to save yourself 15% off today. Know yourself with personalized recovery, strain, and sleep insights from Whoop. Wow, what a pee break. That what was something. Pee. Yeah. That felt real good. Did you push? Yeah, no, I just let it flow. You relax. Mm -hmm. Do you sit down ever? No. Do you ever sit down to pee? No. Like, not even when you're sick? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Like really sick? Sure. Yeah. I pissed and jugged for a while. Yeah. That was something fun. You got really good at that too. You know who used to do that a lot actually? Hmm. Um, one of my favorite people ever. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> hey, uh, is Sheriff Danker available? Oh my God. I don't know what his schedule is this morning. Uh, what do you stop me from going in and check? What's your uh, name, Woodbury? The don't open for three more minutes. Well, I can wait three minutes, can okay. I? Yeah, you have to turn the camera off if you go inside. Why? Oh, inside? Yeah, inside. All right. Okay. Is there a problem with being here, Woodbury? Uh, no, sir. I didn't think there was. So if you this is America, wait. right? Oh, my God. Uh, yes, sir. So have we ever been on record before? Oh, my uh, God. Yes, sir. We have met before. Are you trying to block me? I'm trying to walk I, in the building. Okay, I think you... <laughs> It was the first one I seen last time I tried to talk to Danker. <laughs> it's so aggressive. Here we go. I mean, <laughs> it's like discovering the Ark of the Covenant or something. Like every, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, how much more to this story is there? <laughs> and he's such a menace. And I'm, st I'm still so drunk. Like, I've, I'm so glad I never met him in a way. But, um, I when I see these, I'm like, God, you're so like it's so aggressive. But you you love it because it's like ten mom email chains. Yeah, at once exactly. Like what's gonna happen? But even though I disapprove, I'm like, that's not cool. This guy's just going to work. Like he's he's yeah. definitely being a dick to this guy. And he comes in hot. He comes in like you trying to block me. Like yeah. oh my the god, guy was like, I'm just going. And you could tell. It's funny because what's saving this guy right now is his uniform. You know, mm -hmm. it's also what's attracting it. So, Fed Smoker's approaching him because he's a cop. 
But the only reason Fred Spoker is not like assaulting him is because he's a cop. Yeah. You know? Yep. And the guy, you can tell that that guy's thrown by him. He's like, fuck, you know, <laughs> God damn. Holy shit. You can, yeah, he registers. Is he going to be available nuts. with anything? I don't know what his schedule is, sir. All right. Well, I'll shut the camera off, I guess, when I go okay. in there. I appreciate that. Oh All right. God. I hope you're not breaking any certain rules by blocking. If you do block, it could cost you a job, I imagine. I was going to get one of them white signs. I'm going to try to uh, support Danker. You guys yeah. have those here? That's Sheriff Danker. All right. I'll wait All right. three minutes. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you, Woodbury. <sighs> Woodbury Americans coming in for the block. He's got a nose ring. See how dirty this country is, Obama? On your watch. Whoa. Cock sucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't follow proto, buddy. You're done. This is early. Fed smoker. His hair looks good. Uh, he looks healthier there. Hmm. This might be. Cock sucking fuck. He said Obama, so this is. Yeah, so this is yeah during the Obama presidency. What a yeah. cool. Maybe maybe we should inform Obama that this exists. I think so. Yeah. He's next. Uh, he, I love that he's always talking about where we are. Like that. This is America, right? <laughs> <laughs> like that's. Um, like he's a constitutional guy. He's like, are we following the constitution? Well, he's a CIA double agent, Tom. Yeah, that's true. That's what they do. Oh, he does. Okay, yeah, there is a shout out. Yeah, dirty this country is, Obama. Yeah. With the train in the background. Yeah, it's all perfect. It's all. Ugh. It's just. It's perfect. Fed smoker clip. This is like how Soleil Moonfry captured every moment of her um, childhood and adolescence and made a documentary. Like, yeah. He captured so much of his life and his missions and now we're finding all of this yeah so his go-tos are because i i'm you know you, you start to see the patterns i want to talk to somebody <laughs> this is america you could lose your job yes you could get fired the threats and then something vulgar always yeah always Fucking fuck face and yeah. fuck head you know yeah, you love it take it easy fuckhead god yeah. Yeah. And he's always so strained. Right, because this, this time he says... This is America, right? Yeah, we and got then it. And that initial clip, the very first one... I'm a, a fucking American, you fuck. Yeah. yeah, he likes to be American. It's very That's easy, true. America, you know. Very and patriotic, this. He tells, the, he tells this guy... Um, let me see if it's on... Yeah, because, you know... It could cost you a job, I imagine. It could cost you a job, and then... You're fired, bud. <laughs> You're fired, okay? You didn't follow proto issuing threats and yeah. then being the executor of the threat too then he fires people even though he has no authority to fire yes but in, in his mind he's out there doing the <laughs> lord's work you know what's up there chomo, chomo. <laughs> oh conald rest in proto buddy rest in proto buddy god such a such a fun guy we need vigilantes like that don't we yeah. we need people out there enforcing the rules the guardian angels of the world yeah, you want to see one of the wildest fucking things I've seen in a while? <laughs> okay. So, we everybody knows scared. that one country that always delivers with like fucking crazy shit is Russia, right? Oh, they just, yeah, of they course. They just fucking, they, they don't fuck around. No. They don't fuck around at all with anything. They never, and, and they never have. No. Just so you know... Growing up, I would hear Russian jokes like, um, you know how we make fun of whatever ethnic, I don't forget what yeah. Americans make fun of, but um, Hungarians historically make fun of Russians right. for- because the Russians occupied them. How stupid or yeah. crazy they are. Yeah. So this is not a new legacy. Guys. Yeah, yeah. But cra like cra They're savages. So, yeah, yeah. And tough. Rasputin. And, tough and, and, and wild. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing- um, Stalin killed I've mentioned more it than, before. than Hitler, does the big saying. That there's a, like if you- their version of cops you'll see um in like the cops there there's not like i'm calling uh internal affairs <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah, yeah, yeah. like you you hit me with your elbow like they are, they'll kick you in the <laughs> fucking face they don't give about? a fuck or you just disappear i yeah, mean you just, you're just gone. disappear there anyway. is no like those girls from pussy riot aren't they on in a gulag somewhere because they spoke out against the government Probably. Here we go. Check this out. Ready? Yeah. Oh, look over here. You're yeah, right. yeah, sorry. I'm like looking. Oh, shit. <laughs> right? Two people pinned down, fucking machine guns drawn. What is this? Oh, yeah. like, What's in your violation? fucking bag here? Yeah, I mean, who knows what? 
Ну, а, покиньте, не знаю. Что это? Не знаю. Что это? Like, like yeah. super aggressive. KGB. Yes, cocaine. Watch. Best thing I've ever seen. These two psychos deserve each other. If she thinks oh, that's romantic, she was like, "That was awesome!" Oh yeah. my gosh, these two are perfect. So that, this ended up being a proposal. If you're listening, this guy is pinned to the hood of his car with his lady, with you know masked, uh, armed men holding them down. They yeah. pull a bag out and they're like, "What the fuck is this?" And then they give him a bag and he opens it and it's the ring and he's like, gets down on one knee like, "I love you." <laughs> She's like, I'm so traumatized right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> I've shit my pants, but I love you. This is terrible. Oh. I would be so panicked. God. This is the worst proposal I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But it's memorable at least. It's super memorable. This is terrible. Yeah. But how do you even recap? Like 10 years from now. Kids? Yeah, or 20 years, oh 30 years. God. Like, hey, what was your proposal like? It was pretty cool. It was traumatic. We got pulled over. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> And he coordinate. He must be a cop too, or something. Something like that, or he's got obviously, you know, friends on the force. And then he was I, just like, "Hey, do me a favor and uh, put the safety on, okay?" When you. But it does go to show how tough Russian women are. I yeah, think exactly. You did. She's this, not phased at all. If you, yeah, you do this to a, an American woman, she'd be like, "Fuck yeah, you fucking!" Like, don't oh, you yeah. think she'd be pissed? Oh, she'd be still screaming, of course. She's like, "Oh my god, thank you, so romantic." Of course. <laughs> I love you, Gorky. Really yeah, I mean, fucking name is. American is, you know, beach. Right? Yeah, the baseball heart. game. Yeah, Don't heart. they put it up on the or, board you know, or whatever? Or, you know, you go to the restaurant and they they uh, they put it in the cake, right? Yeah. And so they're like, what's in the cake? Like, <laughs> this was like guns drawn to your head. <laughs> so and, romantic. And, he, and pinned down to a car. That's crazy. Uh, and he's like, hey, That's surprise. Crazy. It's crazy. I love you. That's crazy. It's oh, crazy. It's not on there, but I mentioned it on the live show on Netflix, F1, uh, Drive to Survive. Speaking of Europe, right? The show is unbelievable. And I'm only mentioning it here because I realize on the live show, it's not hitting the, the full audience. It's one of the best docuseries I've ever seen. And I didn't go into it. Like, yes, I do like cars. I'm a car fan, enthusiast, whatever you want to call it. I've never been into motorsports like following racing the show is so good it it really it makes you emotionally invest in drivers and teams storylines it's one of the the best shows of this type i've seen and you it's so well done that you literally will watch it and be like i guess i'm a formula one fan mm. because it, it just it draws you in it's so well done um anyways just kudos to that show and if you're looking for something to watch i'm telling you formula one drive to survive Start with season one, obviously, just go through it. It's it's super. Well, super I heard good. you watching it last night because I was drifting mm -hmm. off to sleep, and all I hear is meow, meow, the way meow. that. And here's the thing: uh, a Formula Jeez. One race on average is about ninety minutes. Yeah. But the, in the show, you know, the way they cut it, it's it's just you're just watching a couple minutes of the actual race, but they cut it in such a dramatic way that you're super invested in the race, meow. in the drama, and and I didn't realize like Formula One's actually really small. You know, it's it's like. 10 teams, 20, each, each team has like two drivers and they're so close to each other that there's like, it's like family drama, you know? Mm. And a driver can get cut or quit a team and sign with another team. Ooh. There's a bunch of that going on. They just do it really well. They really do it well. It is an intimate, so explain this to me. So F Formula Un mm -hmm. is like Ferrari has a car. Ferrari, McLaren, McLaren. Haas. Lamborghini. Ha no, Lamborghini doesn't have a team. There's uh, Mercedes. Mercedes, uh, good car. Renault. Renault. Yeah. Renault. Renault. Um, there's a few other teams. So, so these car companies will manufacture like yeah, one some race of them are car? independent, like racing teams, like the Williams racing team and yeah, you know, like the Haas team there. Um, you know, those are not like 
probably manufacturers or people you're aware with, but then there's like that BWT was just bought by this billionaire Canadian guy. Um, trying to think, yeah, there's the Red Bull racing, but anyway, the most, the most popular, the most famous team for sure is Ferrari. And then the most dominant as of late is Mercedes. But you, you like, you learn this and you get to know like the, the personalities and, the team manager, the money that goes into maintaining and competing at this level is extraordinary. It's I, I so can't much imagine, money. Even like, don't they have to change out the tires? Oh, and that yeah. The tires are a million dollars. Well, these, these cars are multi-million dollar cars. Yeah. You know, it's this is not. You can't get in this car if you know how to drive a regular car. And be like, I guess I could drive this car. It's, no, it's no, no, no way. Well, I've seen like documentaries on race car drivers. They have to actually be in great shape. These guys are all in pretty good shape and. You know, in F1, they sometimes are hitting 215 miles an hour in this car. Like I think you mean straights. kilometers. No. Kilometers. No. Miles an hour. Oh. They are flying. They're, doing turn. They're taking turns at 180. I mean, it's, it's fucking insane. And, and the crashes are, holy shit, man. Yeah, look at that. That's wild, dude. Grand Prix, the fastest time is 230 miles an hour. It's 372 kilometers an hour. It's fucking, it's, it's crazy. I mean, you, you end up having like so much respect for their skills and, but it's what you invested in the show is not, I don't want to, it's not a racing show. You're investing in like actual people and you're emotionally investing in the characters and the drama. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not like you're like, oh, but it's a car. It's not about cars. I agree. And that's how I feel about Love Island, Australia. Yeah, it's pretty It's good. not just about the hot bods. Yes. You're Will they end up together? I can't believe, like, by the way, I, you started that, and I was like, I don't watch this bullshit. And then you're going to bed, I was like, I'm going to keep watching. <laughs> Love Island, Australia, That's season on Hulu. one. It's yeah. on Hulu. We're in it. I like to have a little glass of wine and watch that one. It's so dumb. And they're in bikinis it's the entire It's so dumb, time. and you end up caring. Again, this is, shout out to Rob Eiler uh, for this recommendation. Yeah. He got us hooked into this. But this is like trash TV. Oh, it's the best. But But you end up actually being like, <laughs> Man, if he breaks up with her, it's going to be a real <laughs> <Yeah>. interesting. Because <laughs> they're they. So here's why it works: because it's Australian, so they're not as savvy. These people are not experienced <laughs> reality stars yet. Uh -huh. So they do get emotionally invested they in get, one another. They get emotionally invested quickly. day one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one's like the hottest chick. What's her name? Ta Taylor. Ta Taylor. Taylor. It sounds like Taylor, but it's right. Taylor. Because they're Australian, mate. No, but she spells it that way. Taylor, yeah. Taylor, yeah. But when it, when they said her name, I thought, oh, Taylor. And they're yeah. just saying it with an Australian accent. Yeah. No, it's Taylor. It's, um, it Wait. is good trash. And here's my favorite, too. Oh, there's your girl. There's your girl on the far right. That's Tina. That's like our... Really? Well, she's got the tats, and she's the one that's got the makeup on. Oh, she's right. your favorite one. The is far right? Is she my right? favorite one? I can't see her. Because it's covered. Yeah. No, she's the the one with the makeup and the hair, and she's always like, hmm. "I'll fucking cut that girl." Oh if yeah. They, she tries if she tries to take my boy. I'll say I'm drawn to her. That's true. Yeah, she's the the trashier. She's mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. Um, but if they're not in their swimsuits, they're working out. <laughs> Which is like yeah, the whole show. They're like on the lo they're doing push ups and yoga and talking to each other. And they're flexing. just staying hot. Yeah. yeah, they're just staying hot. They're just staying hot. It's wild, like. And everyone's drinking water the whole all like day. On American shows they drink booze on reality shows. On this show they're all like, day. "You're hot, fucking drink some water." Yeah, yeah. And they just pound water the whole they day. They pound water and they do uh, sit ups and shit and yeah. talk about each other. It's really mm -hmm. funny. I and like they, it. they just they're uh, they has like a you know decent sized backyard and like the girls are hanging out one side and then the boys on the other and they're all just being like, "She's hot, right?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But then one dumb dumb tries to play two girls at once. Oh yeah, and it doesn't work in a house. But that's just like that's also like real life. That that is like real life. Like you you try to be slick, yeah. and then it fucking blows up on you. Yeah. So he was trying. He's hooked up with one girl, and then he fan he fancies yeah. another girl. I want to give you a snog. Yeah, he wants to sn snog yeah. the other one, and she's all like, "Oh my god, you can't snog here," and then oh, I kiss you too. Yeah. <laughs> And then she tells the other girl, like, did yeah. you know? And by the way, that's a real fucking cunt move. Can I just tell you? You think so? Yes, because it's not a real mm. relationship that they're in. And she was like, he said that he want to kiss me at mm. all. <laughs> it's like, stop being a fucking, you know, like. I disagree, Tom. I think. Snitch, you fucking rat. No, hoes before bros. You wouldn't tell your bro 
if he was being two time by some hussy. Maybe I guess. Yeah, so. if he and by the way, that girl's really invested. The, the I'm saying like but she's, she's so into him, it would devastate her. Dude, you're watching this show and you're like, I guess they've been dating for what six <laughs> months? Like, no, they met Monday. It's fucking Thursday, and she's like, I mean, are, you, are we together? Or like, like she's so, and you're like, all right, just chill the fuck I out a little it. bit here. Yeah, but that's that's why <clears> you end up getting hooked, just because they care. They care, so then you care. You know? you know what? What you like is confrontation and drama. What I like is mental illness. And that's why your mom's house works so well. Because it's I'm fascinated by mental illness and you're fascinated by confrontation. That's true. And when two great tastes taste great together, <laughs> fudge and, and caramel, yeah, peanut butter and chocolate, it's what Fed Smoker is. True. And Robert Paul Robert Schumann is not violent. He's not violent. Brought something out. Yeah, we also said, we you know, be, didn't brought it out. What would be funny is if you and I showed up on Love Island. Oh my and god! And then they're like, "Who's your next single person?" And it's and me, then, I'm a middle aged mom. Yeah, and then I walk <laughs> like, out. Uh, I'm the only guy without abs, and they're all like, "Um." <laughs> and then this PSA just plays as I'm talking. I'm like, we "Hey guys, we don't want you on our team. You're too slow and fat." What? <laughs> Millions of people are impacted by obesity. Uh oh! Don't you care what other people think? <laughs> you need to do something about your weight. I'm trying. They face unfair <laughs> weight bias every day. Oh! <laughs> You're not the right fit for this job. Weight bias is harmful, not <laughs> helpful. I see you haven't lost weight. You must not be trying hard enough. I am. Everyone keeps judging me. I'm eating right. I'm exercising. Mm. I'm trying to lose weight. But it's just too much. What's too Our much? Our words and actions matter. Everyone deserves to be treated with dignity and respect. Mm -hmm. Except Learn for you, more about weight bias and how to help end it. Visit StopWeightBias.com. Be a part of the solution. Let's stop weight bias. Let's work together to stop weight bias today. Jesus Christ. This is real? Yes, yeah, real. Stop weight bias. This is real? And you know what? If this gets me on Love Island Australia, I'm down. <laughs> I'm going to send this to the producers and be like, stop keeping me off the show. I deserve to be on the show and celebrated as hot, even with my excess weight. So do you think we should do Love Island Fatties? Huskies? <laughs> Love Island, not hot. You're not, <laughs> <laughs> but you're not fat. You're you're no, you're I'm perfect. Just, yes, that's how I feel. I think we should have. Well, this is a good point. You know, we should stop the weight bias and give them their own version of everything. So I want to see Fat Love Island. Jesus. By I the way, see, it's very manipulative to throw a kid. A kid, in kid there. yeah, with a list. Like the fat adults. It's like okay, and then the kids like, what about me? And you're like, no, All he right, goes, man. what about me? I'm f I'm so f fat and fat. I don't like that. Well, he's got a lisp too. A fat kid with a lisp. All right. It's not fair. I'm a mom. I my heart strings. Yeah, you sound on. like it. You sound real affected. No, I'm mad that they made me feel something. I'm mad because I do feel bad for them. Yeah. But I don't want to stop making fun of fat people, and I don't want to stop shaming them because I don't think you should be fat. I don't think it's good for you. The more you know. Okay. Very cool. Cool message. Tom. What? Nadav, how's your fat going? Are you on your diet yet? How's my fat going? Mm -hmm. That's an interesting way to ask the question. I agree with you on that. <laughs> yeah, it's going great. Are you dieting? Uh, I, I don't know why, but I have a mental blockage. that. I, yeah, I, you I, said you were going to start a couple weeks ago. Yeah. You're supposed to, you're like, I'm tying one on this weekend, and then it's on Monday. But then I was just like, yeah, but what if they ask questions right before my second dose? They're like, oh, I don't think you fit the criteria anymore. Is it, this is why? I don't know why. I, do, I have some sort of mental blockage. Where I'm like, nah, just one more one more day, and then I'll get back on it. I'm just, I'm trying to find the motivation. When's your next uh, shot? It is Sunday. It's the Sunday. Okay, so how about Monday? Dose. Why don't you give yourself the rest of the week? To oh, I see. So the, so the rest of no. this week. Well, you don't have to. I'm just saying, yeah. like, like give myself the rest of this week, and then, well, yeah, or or whatever. Do it tomorrow. I'm no. I'm just asking you if you. I mean, no. Yeah. Like, I'd love it. to. I'd love to get down. It's. <laughs> it feels much better to be lighter than what I'm at right now. Yeah. yeah. Do what I'm doing. What are you? So yeah, give me your routine. Like, how'd you He's get on a tear? I need to break half my body, well, and then no, I don't do that. First, <laughs> first you need COVID. 
That's going to slim you down the first 10 or 20. But I'm no. already too healthy for COVID. So don't, don't do that. Just um, just do like, I'll, I'll write out what I'm eating. Okay. And then you just do that. Ooh, yeah. All right. I'll go on the Seguro plan. Why not? Sure. I'm down. I like that. Yeah. It'll I like be good. That. It'll be good for you. Stop the weight. Plus, I mean, you know, it'd be fun to have like just like another super thin friend. So, <laughs> <clears throat> you know, we'll just eat. Eat right. Eat right. But don't gain Work more weight. Right. Work hard. Play hard. Okay, don't. Okay. Why would, it's I, like, gain, it's like why those, would I gain more weight? I thought, I thought you said that you were going to use this week to like blow it out before you start. Okay, don't. No, just maintain. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> right. you sound like one of those junkies in rehab. Oh, right, right. Like, I'm, I'm going to party extra hard before I go into rehab. Like, don't, Which is don't. a good idea if you're going to go to rehab. Right, straighten out. Get all fucked up right before you go. Yeah. Yeah, just don't, don't die right before. Yeah, just, just don't arrive die. fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you ready? No, I'm ready, I'm ready. What am I ready? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you break your leg? Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Why are you laughing? That's like, so I'm not fucking... sure why we're laughing. Is, is, is anyone else laughing in the booth or? Because I know she's going to get in shape now. That's why. <laughs> Yeah, that was a loud, loud. And look at that comment underneath it. <laughs> she went full Segura. Says, yes, she did. Yeah, that was great. Oh my god! <laughs> I like the the sweetness with which the question was asked. Did you break your leg? <laughs> <laughs> like the way a kid says it. Did you break your leg? Yes. Oh, that was great, man. Yeah. Oh my god. You want to see it again? No, okay. I really don't. <laughs> like, I'm not. All right. Looks like uh, you guys voted more horrible than hilarious on that one, but I gave a strong, <laughs> hilarious reaction. <laughs> I'm not sure why anybody's laughing. I that mean, we got more himself. laughs, and then Chris is smiling big, so yeah. He just fucking busted his head open. Yeah, but he's alive. He's fine. All right, one more. You ready? This one, you're you're gonna be like, oh, he deserves it. Okay. Oh, I'm cool. I'm hanging out the window on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that one. Yeah, that's good. That's cool. What is that? I don't know. Turkish? Turkish, yeah. All right. You know Shambri. Yeah. Wow. Oh. The <laughs> Shakule. Okay. I like that one. That was cool. Because he was trying to be cool. He was trying to be cool. It always happens in life. Always. Trying to be cool, you know? That's one of the reasons I can't get a sleeve tattooed in real life. I not that I can't live up to those tats you know oh, that's what you think you looked so cool the next day when we were out you just had the sleeve on you looked rad oh thanks but i i don't know i feel like you have that's to in really... your head that's in your head really yeah well you look super cool i don't think i'm cool all the time you know i think let me can i send you this picture i'll send you this picture yeah airdrop it to the imac okay because those people look so cool when they're, they're all tatted up and stuff. And, and But they're always cool. Like Tommy Lee, when he was in here and he's got all those tats. Like, I, I, I'm i such a, I, I'm not that cool. I don't know. I, I don't mind that I'm not that cool. Yeah. I'm not like a rock star. I'm a dopey comedian. We you went know out what I mean? To, I'm not cool. Uh, we went out to, to brunch or whatever. I think it says it went through, right? I mean, put that on the screen. But, but you don't think you have to be that that person who's like a rock star. Yeah, but look how cool you look here. Or like a, I you do look, look rad. Do. I'm like a cool mom. You look cool. That's me at brunch the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I really dig <laughs> it. I think you do look really cool. I like it. I love the way the sleeve looked. You look cool. I loved it. You don't think you're cool enough for that? <sighs> Skulls and stuff and you don't eight think balls I, I think that looks great. Like, I think it looks really great. I think you pulled off every single tattoo that really? was on you. And I'm not even joking. Like, the face tats looked good on you. The arm tats. Face the, tats. The neck tats. Like, no joke. You could pull it off. 
if okay. you wanted to. Here's what I want to do is I want to do sleeves every now and then like for fun, like just stick ons. Like, can I order these? Yeah. I'll order them. I'll get you go. some Ed Hardy shirts. No. <laughs> <laughs> just go get fucking inked up. Maybe. Yeah. You know, you've been saying this for a while, right? I know. I like it. No, but like for a few years. I know. I know. Can I tell you though? I have um, nightmares you know, that I'm covered in tattoos. That's one of my recurring You know you could do, nightmares. right? You could start like upper. Knuckles? Yeah. No, no, upper sleeve, upper arm. And then hide it? Well, I'm saying that and get comfortable with it and see if you like it. And then you could just extend it. Well, you know what our um, mutual, our buddy said who it does have mm -hmm. lots of tattoos and sleeves. She was like, you can just get them. You can get tattoos where no one can see them. You right. know, That's like what I'm saying. maybe my back. More no, or you could do your upper arm. Like no one's gonna see. I know, but that. if we go to the, if we go on vacation with like the family, or I'm so? in a bathing suit. So what? I don't know. Why would that even matter? Like weird out. Someone would know. be like, "Oh my god, that lady has a tattoo on her arm." Like you see tattoos all the time. But then can you see me at eighty with like skulls? You think you're gonna live to eighty? That's true. Probably won't live to fifty. There we go. That's the right attitude. Okay. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, you do look cool though. I do think you look cool. Would you get a tat? I don't know. I'm, I don't have the same. Like you've mentioned it a lot. Okay. You've mentioned it quite a bit. I I don't have the same thing where I'm like constantly talking. But if but if I was talking about it as much as you were, <laughs> I think I would do it. I did like seeing it on my hand. I thought that was really yeah. Nice. You did. You liked my it a lot. Like that, yeah. You liked it quite a bit. <laughs> I really think you should consider. Jeez, that was a weird laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you mentioned it a bit, man. Yeah. 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 So on Instagram, I shared this in my stories. <laughs> so this is nope. an artist. No, he's not. Yeah, and he does these things that create chaos and anxiety in oh, people. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's had a few great things that I've posted on my stories. That does create chaos. And yeah. That made me anxious right away. He'll do stuff like drop heavy nails and hammers and it's it's meant to disturb you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that really good. that really worked. So for those of you just listening, it's a guy who took like a paint roller and rolled his face. It looks like with peanut butter and then yeah. he rolls it on the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks it looks kind of fun. Would you do this? No. no. Oh, I would do it. No, I don't think I'd do it with peanut butter. I mean, I think it would be fun to do like some type of <laughs> I can get the, the fun of like some type of gel, you know? Yeah. Like um, something, that, uh, like a paint, like, you know, be covered yeah. in that. That seems what peanut butter for, just doesn't appeal to me to have. Mm. Uh, you want to do peanut butter? I think it'd be fun. I would do it. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. It's a weird substance. I'd like to eat it as I'm doing this. You know what we should get? What? Get one of those blow up um, like kiddie pools. Yeah. And do it in that. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather do something edible than... Honey? Uh, we've done. Remember, we did that bear sketch with Brent yeah. Weinbach a million. How did you get? You just took a shower and yeah. it came off easily. I would do that. I would do a thing full of. Hun uh, oh, sorry, peanut butter. That'd be yeah, because the boys look like they love doing it with shaving cream. Yeah, so that's rad. Would be fun to do that way. <laughs> yeah. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by RevTown. Well, Christina, it's finally happened. Someone gets us. Like they really get us. <laughs> it can be hard to find jeans that fit well. Jeans that are comfortable and fit well. Forget it. Until now. RevTown has changed the game for us. These are amazing. They fit great, super comfortable. They look fantastic. Not baggy, not too tight. Perfect. The holy grail of jeans. Let's face it, nobody wants to be in too tight, rigid jeans right now. RevTown jeans were created by a few former Under Armour guys. These are proprietary fabric that combines Italian milled denim, a little bit of stretch, and a strong, durable thread, just like the stuff used in football uniforms and yoga pants. It's the best of both worlds. RevTown jeans are durable but comfortable and mobile when you need them to be. Plus, they're soft enough to be comfy while working from home or lounging on the couch. You've got a pair. You love them. And at 79 bucks a pair, they are less than half the price of the so-called designer jeans we've been jamming our stuff into for years. They feel like nothing else we've worn. Head over to RevTown.com slash YMH, R-E-V-T-O-W-N dot com slash YMH to upgrade your denim game today. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Keeps. Two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they are 35. Look at me. Yeah, I know. More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. There are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers both of them. 
Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair convenient. Virtual go- doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your home. I think that doctor consultations over the internet are probably the best thing to come of the last few years. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to park. You don't have to look at other people. You just talk to the doctor about your situation. Discreet packaging arrives. It keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. And remember, prevention is the key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast and act now. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash mom to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash mom to get your first month free. Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash mom. Um, <clears throat> so we saw, this morning we saw a guy walking his dog with a waist leash yeah. on his, around his body. He no, he so tied he, it around. His well, waist. Yeah, but it, like he made so he made like a belt out of his leash. That's and so weird. Was walking, and I, I, I just had so much disdain for that guy. Same. And I, n- I love his dog. You know, the dog. I always love dogs. I was like, I hope your dog abandons you. Me too. You know, and just finds a better owner. Or I just hope because I think you're a, you're a fucking smug asshole. Or I hope that the dog like takes off chasing something it likes and pulls you and, down, and you die, and you trip over. A manhole or you fall into a hole like in New York City and then you just die. Yeah, I was going more just like have a bad moment. Oh. Not, I didn't wish death on him. I didn't like that he was so tethered to the dog. It doesn't no. seem smart. Like I it, didn't like that he was like proud that. of himself. Yeah, like he invented that. Oh, I'm walking around. Yeah. Fuck you, man. I agree. It also felt so dickless. I think when people go totally dickless and asexual, Mm-hmm. I have no respect for them. Like mm-hmm. when I see a man wearing socks and sandals, I'm yeah. like, oh, you don't care about your dick yeah. getting touched at all. Like you're you're totally out yeah. of humanity. Mm-hmm. That's a move where you're like, I don't care. And the same like when a woman wears crazy sun visors. Yep. You know, like uh, the extra long sun visor. Like, oh, you look like a fucking tool bag. What and she doing? also, that is another sign of like the vag is shut. Yeah, don't. Don't put anything in here. Yep, it's um, all dried up. No pleasure. And then um, I've also been seeing people, um, so I walk around the neighborhood. I saw a lady listening to her podcast or something on her phone, full volume, and just uh, like, hey, everybody, I'm listening to this. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you fucking doing? That's a big one now, and now we're seeing the more that it's become part of, the, of regular life are the public Zooms. It, that's crazy. It's crazy. People are Zooming... Uh, at restaurants yeah hey guys uh, who's joining yeah all right and you're like what the fuck without earbuds I'm yeah saying. just talking so we, your cousin told me that they were at a hotel pool and it's a quiet pool it was for adults only so mm-hmm. it was meant for just quiet time and they're laying there's an old guy and next to him a man opens up his computer and starts zooming with all of his coworkers. And I'll hit, hey guys what you're just doing yeah. and like at a quiet pool and the guy next to him the old man was trying to nap and he's like dude what what the fuck are you doing and like so what's the what's the proto now are we gonna let these people do this or dude, do you say something i was in line the other day for coffee it's, it's it's not the exact same thing but a notable person so i'm in line kurt russell is in front of me oh my gosh and behind me is a um, young girl like 22 FaceTime, no earbuds. And I, you know, at first I was like, and it was so fun to see Kurt Russell go. <laughs> and then he would look forward and then he, cause she was like, yeah, uh, where are South Carolina? Is it hot there? And then you'd hear the guy be like, yeah, it's hot. Like, and just having a full, full fucking conversation. <sighs> I've heard that. I've seen it so many times. People yeah, in the grocery stores. I'm name dropping Kurt Russell because it's Kurt Russell. He's fucking <laughs> but I've seen people in grocery stores fully FaceTime yeah. like, hey, like, yeah. you're inside or at the fucking uh, terminal at the airport. Yeah, it's it, that part. It's all, you know, it was speakerphone and now it's it's uh, FaceTime and Zoom calls in public i mean people just have it's a it's a lack of respect for your fellow citizens you know what i mean yeah it's it's saying like i don't care about people around me they don't care they yeah. don't think and do you want everybody to hear your conversation uh, i, I, I so. certainly don't i, I don't, don't want people to hear my you're very private you don't like to anybody no no, no i would ne- like 
even if it's a conversation about bullshit, it's still private, right? Oh my God. That's so terrible. Yeah, it's the worst. It's totally the worst. And then we saw um, a lot of hoes in their, their Lululemon panties. That I don't mind. Yeah. That's pretty good. But then there are some asses that shouldn't be in the Lululemons. Yes, that is true. There's there's a number of asses that don't belong um, in Lululemon pants. Would you wear Lululemon pants around? If you want me to, if that'll really turn you on. Why don't you wear men's shot. biker shorts? I saw a guy running in men's biker shorts and shirtless, which is crazy. Yeah. Ugh. Real crazy. Look at that big old bulge in his pants, though. You like that? I don't like it seeing it like that, no. It doesn't look good. It seems like you can kind of hide it if you're wearing black ones, but any other color, you're going to see the full out. Like that guy second to the right there. Oh my you God. You can see the entire shape of his dick. Can we go bigger on that? Yeah, it's up. It's up and to the right there. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Oh, and number one no, also. Oh my God. You can totally see their, all their dongs. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now you can oh, see them all. Holy shit. Yeah. This is just dick pics. That guy's dong is like up on his belly, babe. Yeah. Whoa, and that guy's on the left. I'd be yeah. so mad if I wasn't hanging well for the photo, you know? I know. Like right for the photo, they snap, and you're like, oh, wait, just let me fucking adjust <laughs> myself, man. I take it back. Now I want guys to wear, bar wear biker shorts all the time. So you can see dongs? Only if they're red like this. The Americans, don't they wear underwear under theirs? I don't How know. How come I'm not seeing this when I see guys in my So now you're on board with biker well, now, shorts. Well, now, yeah, European ones. This is a Euro one. That's definitely European. Yeah, those are European guys. Oh, like the Polish flag yeah. or something? What is that? Yeah. Yeah, those are Polish guys. Oh, yeah. Polskas. Yeah. They got their kielbasas in their pants. Hey. Hey, our dicks are out, guys. Hey. That looks good. See, like his, you can see it too. Any color that's not black, you can see it. Now you're really nodding Damn, yourself. look at that. You can see that guy's full dong in a right here? In in white the blue? biker short. No, the white one's on the far right. Where? Him. Dude, look at his dong. You can see everything. Hmm. Damn, homie. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, that doesn't... Whoa, you can see his whole thing. That looks appealing. I mean, yeah, I love it. What What can you see? You see everything. You see the shape up and to the right. Can you not see? Yeah, but I mean, that doesn't look pretty subtle to you. Subtle? Yeah. I guess it's more than what I'm used to seeing of dudes in the world, so that's exciting. Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, I don't get to see outlines of everybody's dicks every day. This is a neat thing. You came in here saying you didn't like biker shorts. Well, I thought they looked feminine and silly, and now I see that they can be really fun and I'll tell cool. you what I'm into is that guy's quads. Holy <clears throat> shit. Yeah. Look at those quads. He shaves his legs, too, for Well, he's to a real faster. cyclist. Yeah. They shave it off to make themselves go faster. Yeah. The, no, less wind time. resistance. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Do you think it, it Swimmers really- Swimmers and cyclists all do that. It hinders your. Yeah, it's just it's so it's much. we're talking at the highest level. You're you're talking about any edge. So even if it's a fraction of a fraction of a second, you know. Yeah. You want to do anything to to get that edge. Um. Well, all right. I guess biker shorts are in for you again. I'm back on board. Yeah. I heard you was oh. for me. Let's go. I mean, that was a real 180 you did. Just so you know. Well, I'll tell you why. Because a guy I saw. As soon as you saw a dick, she was like, "These are not bad. They're not that bad." Because the guy jogging in our neighborhood was not cute like that. I didn't see any kind of hang. I didn't see any kind of outline. I didn't see a bulge. I think because he was wearing like two, the colorful, two yeah. multicolored. Yeah. And I didn't realize what I was missing out on. But And uh, now I like You're this. getting excited about like, I got to say, those are all, everything I saw was unimpressive. And you're like, I just like, like to Ooh. see dicks. I mean, don't, like <laughs> would you, if somebody showed you outlines of boobs, don't you just like any boobs? It I guess matter. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But I, I thought you would want like like a fucking hog in one, you know? Of course, that's what I'm looking for. I'm hog hunting. Maybe I'll <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky and see a real bigger, a yeah. real biggie. Let's we'll see the Nigerian cycling yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Bring up Nigerian cycling team. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, is there images here? I hope this works so badly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, see, those see? are dark shorts. They wear dark shorts because they know. Well, that that could stop the whole race. If they had white <laughs> shorts on, they'd be like, all right, guys, <laughs> nobody can pay attention over here. <laughs> yeah, that's... Um... Uh, oh, I see a bulge on the left. Yeah. The other ones are covered by those stupid bicycles that get in the way. 
You mean the, their whole purpose in life? Well, boring. Yeah. They should just have men's biker short gangs and then they walk around and show me. True, true. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, they're smart. They don't, they're not photographed without those bikes in front of them for a reason, guys. The, I bet, oh man, if they move those bikes, you would see some swinging right now. <laughs> that guy right there, how about him? Are you zooming oh, on him? Oh, yeah. He's got to have something. I think they're pointing to it. Like, look at his dick, guys. <laughs> We're all laughing and happy. All right. Uh, I remember something today. I hate moving and everything that goes along with it. I say, I damn it, I win it. I hate moving, too. Well, that's why I brought it up. You know, it's getting closer for us, and I figured you could really relate to this talk. <sighs> yeah. What's hanging from a ceiling? I don't know, but he definitely is fitting all the cool criteria. Check, 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 check. 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 I'd like to give a shout out to Shanti's Convenience Store, Grantsville, West Virginia. What is going on in his mouth? <laughs> That's the real question. What is going on with his mouth? Are things coming out of his? <laughs> Isn't there dark coloration like on his lips? Play it one more time for clarification. I'd like to give a shout Oof. out to Shawty's <laughs> Convenience Store, Grantsville, West Virginia. <laughs> um, He's doing a, just a shout out to a convenience just store? A shout out to, hold on. I'm thinking, and you've done this before, is that dip? It could be dip. And yeah. it's just all over his lips. Yeah, and usually you try to keep it in a pocket, you know, like <laughs> one area, but maybe he just talks with it everywhere. <laughs> and the dips is everywhere and his lips and tongue and mouth. That can't be good. Fuck my life, man. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Hope your day is good. Thanks. Don't forget to take the medicine. <laughs> I forgot mine, but I'm still in a good mood at least. That's good. So give me a holler back if you're bored. God damn it. Yeah. Well, it is a good reminder. Don't forget to take your medicines. I'm getting ready to go to the Philippines for a while. Because from what I understand, the food's so cheap there. Yeah. I'll probably come back 500 fucking pounds because I love seafood. What do you like about this talk? Let's start from the top. Yeah, let's start with the shirt. The shirt's the best part. Holy shit. He's got a cholo, uh, I'm sorry, a chola ghost walking a, an aggressive pit bull. That's the shirt. And then he's like, I'm going to the Philippines for the food. I'm like, mm, I don't think so. Mm -mm. I don't think anybody really goes for the Well, no, food. that's not like, you know, let's Come not on. shit on Philippine uh, cuisine. Um, it is delicious, but he's not going for that. Yeah, that's Let's that's be real right. clear about something. <laughs> this guy's not like, I am all about trying the cuisines of the world. <laughs> Get like, the fuck out of here. Like he's Anthony Bourdain yeah. and he's going. Culinary, culinary, yeah, culinary, gastro travel. Yeah, guy, he's definitely not. Yeah. He's not doing a vlog. Mm -hmm. on oh, and I guess what? I came back and they did have good food, but they also had some pretty cheap pussy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> So this is photoshopped or whatever oh, it's called. It's like fake. a green screen. Yeah. Okay. But I thought that you would appreciate this woman's I terror. I do like the terror a lot. Yeah. And God, that's so, it's always exciting and funny to me to see someone like real terrified. Yeah. I don't know why. Or in pain or getting yeah, harmed. But terrified is the best. That's like the top one. Sure. I don't know why. I don't know why either. It, it doesn't tickle me as much as it tickles you. Then again, why do I like mentally ill guys who talk about, you know, I am afraid of moving. I don't know. In your fucking bike shorts. Potato, potato. Mm. Yeah. I do like those bikes. <laughs> that was just a silly talk. That's yeah. a lady in falling into a full-size toilet, a huge oversized toilet. Oversized. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I'd like a bathtub like that. That'd be perfect for studio mm. jeans. Let's not. Let's not. Okay. Toilet bathtub. Kind of gross. Hello, this is Jarvis Robert in California talking. Uh-huh. <laughs> Protocols of gibberish. Nietzsche is gibberish. Plato is gibberish. Socrates is gibberish. Anne Frank gibberish. Did you not know that? I didn't like that one. Why not? Socrates gibberish. Nietzsche gibberish. Anne Frank gibberish. Mm-hmm. Oh, because he's anti-intellectual? Let's go to the next one. <laughs> Act crazy and let out a little bit of steam. 
<laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> oh, that felt good. I don't like him at all. That's either. Disco Bob. We met him last week when he's like, "What's your favorite cereal?" Everybody share. I thought we were about to see a horrible hilarious right there with those jumps. <laughs> he should not be jumping at that weight. He mm-hmm. should not be jumping. We all learned that lesson, That's... didn't we? I think you think everybody can read. So you say read the guidelines, but we can't most of us can't. You know, there's people out there that just can't read. <laughs> we're illiterate. We can't read. It's a disability. Okay. <laughs> This is the saddest talk folder we've had in a while. Are there any I, uplifters? I, I think it's funny. I don't know what you're not laughing at. What? I mean, have you ever known somebody who admits to being illiterate? It's pretty funny. I mean, it's funny that he said a lot of us. Like He's like, <laughs> most people can't read. That part's funny. But then you're like, oh, this guy's hes really sad. Well, you know? he's advocating for the illiterate. We need to stop the illiterate hate or stop the illiterate bias, you know? Mm-hmm. We're doing it for other people. Why why are you guys so hateful? I'm just trying to expose and shed light on the marginalized communities, Tom. That's not what you're doing. I found these limited edition frosted strawberry donut Oreos. And they have the pink colored cream with the glitter. So let's uh, open these up and we'll give them a try. Okay. That noise is really nice. Okay. The plastic. That's fantastic. Go. Okay. There's the the middle. Yeah. The cream. Yeah. What do you think? Hmm. They're pretty good. <laughs> Low, a bit of strawberry. Yeah. Flavor. Right. That's the strawberry part. Not now we can get all the time. But <laughs> all right, that was good. That that part is good. Some of the best the best <laughs> from these talks are how they just end abruptly. Those are really But <laughs> could you imagine getting uh, excited? about buying a variant of the oreo brand no like is that even on your radar of course not but also i mean you know this guy what (laughs) what tom what he doesn't have a mortgage what he doesn't have kids what he doesn't have a girlfriend what we need to talk about the r word (laughs) I just, I guess I don't understand when people get so stoked about, yeah. um, like, oh, they made a, who cares? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can my ass say the N word? Let's ask it. Whoa! What do you think? Did his butt say the N word? Ugh. <laughs> This is not my favorite thing you've done. What? Okay, well, let's go to the next. Here is how to flirt with a girl that you like. Just offer her a chocolate or this one right here, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup or M&M's. Well, he's not wrong about that, right? He's not wrong. Now, which one would you offer a lady you were interested in? Um... I don't think I would offer M and M's. I think you offer a uh, Reese's peanut butter cup. I think Reese's peanut butter cup is. Would you like a Reese's peanut butter cup? I would. Thank you. Yeah. It's it's the king of candies. I think it's number one in the candy world. Is a Reese's peanut butter cup. Yana, yep. what do you agree? Agree? Yeah. That's a good. That's it's, a good. You know, that's a good. I gotta say, that's not bad. What do you do? You think there's anything better than a Reese's peanut butter cup? 
I don't think there is. Like Snickers is pretty great. Yeah, agreed. But is it better than a Reese cup, dude? I don't fucking think so. Whatchamacallit, again, I really like those. Not sure if it's as good as a Reese cup. Any of you fucking freaks out there are like, Almond Joy, disgusting, payday, not as good. There's nothing as good. Yeah. If you ask a lady, if you if you see a lady... Nestle Crunch. Pretty good. It tastes like... Th- that chocolate's kind of waxy. Uh, uh, a Kit Kat's a cool offer. Ooh, Kit Kat's good, but is it the king of the But box? you also, get, you can you know, you know can split it. That's kind of a cool way that to That is cool. Like, hey. You can share one of your Reese cups. One thing we know for sure is if you... Offer a lady chocolate, it's cool. But also, don't forget... Don't compliment that bitch. (laughs) I like that advice the most. Don't compliment that bitch. It's just slime. It's not a crime. It's just slime. It's not a crime. It's just slime. It's not a crime. And she made a rhyme with her slime. She's got a couple tats. Yep. She looks cool. Yeah. I like her bathing suit. Me too. Uh, that was a that was kind of kind of a palate cleanser. God, look, the world is. I'll tell you something. We're definitely in between something because we're just in a different phase on TikTok. People are getting comfortable again. They're making more innocent talks. If you'll notice, it's about cookies and slime, so it's good. Yes, yeah, we're not as angry as we were a month ago. We're That's not true. as panicked, so we're in a nice calm stage and tiktok is a reflection of society people it's true i believe that there's no good way to use the r word okay <laughs> let's go to the next one i want to show everybody these cheez it's he's uh, back loaded popcorn limited time only we got the cheddar limited and time we got the white cheddar um i actually tried these <laughs> and like i said um i tried them on my youtube channel oh and um I'm going to give, I gave them both an eight. Um, oh, an eight. The cheddar in this is uh, really, really sharp. And uh, really sharp in this when you first bite into them. But they're pretty good. Like I said, I gave them an eight on my YouTube video. <laughs> YouTube. And there's the cheddar. <laughs> but the cheddar popcorn. Uh, it's a limited time only. Like I said, I saw these and I figured I had to get these. And then there's the white cheddar. So, uh, like I said, I gave them an eight. Really awesome. Why an eight? And he doesn't tell you why it's an eight. I guess I'm going to have to go to his YouTube channel yeah, I guess to find you are. out. Yeah. I can't. Look. You I think, think somebody could maybe tell him <laughs> that when you like wrestle plastic bags like that, your audio is going to really sting for well, people listening? I don't think he's thinking of audio quality, Tom. He's filming in his garage. He's got like a disco light thing, light show happening in the background. I'm more upset that he gave... Cheez Its an eight. eight. Yeah. I think Cheez Its is a superior snack. The the pure kind, not the popcorn. I mean, does it get any better than a Cheez It for a snack? Cheez It's a nice snack. I agree. But to give the popcorn version an eight, it's it's disastrous. The popcorn should be rated higher or lower? I don't know. I imagine it's pretty good. I haven't tried it, but what are you saying though? Which way it should be higher. Oh. I mean, Cheez It is a is a great brand and it's a great brand. Yeah, I love popcorn. I just I could you imagine could you even imagine being I, like, I can't imagine a- anybody <laughs> doing anything that we've seen. None. No. Being like, I have to buy these and then make a video uh, educating the public on how I feel they taste. It's yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah. It's Thursday night, <laughs> about 1122, 1124. Of course, you can't count for time, you know. Um, <laughs> the cultists are here basically for the past 45 minutes I've been squeezing my balls and the veins inside my balls brutally putting me, wake, wake me up by that then I go back to sleep and they do it over and over <laughs> and over these guys are here right now I don't think there's a female with them but they are bad people this is nothing compared to eye torture or anything like that it is, it is just brutal way to wake up it's not just squeezing the balls it's moving them around um, it's doing the vein inside the ball it is horrific I haven't had that bad in a while. Um, I hope the cultists who are here right now can get exposed. Well, that was my palate cleanser for you. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> that was cool. You like that? I, I enjoy these so much. I like these as much as you like your horrible or hilarious. So I know. I, just, you know, that that was that felt fun for God me. God damn. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ, that was, ugh. What? Nothing. Um, so before we go, I should mention there's, uh, there's new stuff in the store. If you go to store.ymhstudios.com, in about a week or so, we'll have an announcement. So, uh, oh, the, uh, yeah, the poster stole, sold out, the limited edition poster. We have an I Got the Antibodies t-shirt. Which Sweet. When I was uh, dressed up for that uh, Zar face video. Big titted animal mug. A, mo- uh, a t-shirt from the movie I was in, Flinch, where I played uh, Ed uh, Terzian, that, um, the movie Flinch that Cameron Van Oy nice. uh, directed. Two Bears mug, big titted animal koozie, knucklehead tee, big titted animal shirt. Um, so yeah, visit. There's new things there, new stuff coming. Thank you guys for your support as always. Uh, thank you for everybody that joined us for the live show. It'll be up, like I said, through the weekend. So go to livestream.ymhstudios.com. Christina, you're going on the road. I am, bro. This week, I am in Des Moines. I believe Sunday is the only show there are tickets left on. Some call it Des Moines, but yes. Oh, Des Moines. Yes. And then Fartnicks, Arizona, April 23rd. Super and fun club. 24th. I can't wait. And then, sure. Oh, West, one night only, Breast Balls Beach. West Palm Beach, May 6th. The tickets are almost gone. Shark Lake Titties, June 11 and 12. San Antonio, July 15 through 17. Liberty Township, Ohio. Columbus. Um, You're on the road. I'm Oklahoma City. I'm doing it all, folks. Check them out. ChristinaPOnline.com. This weekend, I'm doing shows uh, during the week, I should say, in Spanish. I'm doing San Antonio, Houston. And we added, we sold out Dallas. We added a late show. That's going to be on Thursday in Dallas at the uh, Addison Improv. Um, and then, uh, yeah, on the road, more Spanish shows in June in Ontario and uh, another Spanish show. But I also have a bunch of English shows. They're all at Um Go to the tour page. And then hopefully, soon enough, we'll be able to announce more shows as uh, people get vaccinated and things go back to normal. I know. It's coming. Great. It's, it's almost here. Can't, can't wait. Can't All wait, right. Gene. I think that's it, Gene. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Here is Electronic Dance Moose by Mr. Mobius to take us out. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye, Gene.
Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. Please continue to watch more. You can see all these were my hands gesturing. You can click on those. And please subscribe if you have not yet. And subscribe button, and then we'll get your money. Thanks.